Last time in our template mini series, we talked about how to create your own custom template, but how do you get it to actually show up in Visual Studio? Find out on this episode of Visual Studio Toolbox. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Visual Studio Toolbox. I'm your host, Leslie Richardson, and I am joined yet again by Senior Program Manager, Syed Hashimi. Welcome back. Hello, thanks for having me. All right, so this time around, we're gonna take the .NET template that we created in the previous episode and get it to work for Visual Studio, right? That's right, that's right. So yeah, so when you create a template for .NET New, there are a couple customizations that need to be made to get it to appear in Visual Studio. So we're gonna, we're gonna th those are pretty simple and should be pretty quick. So we'll go ahead and kind of run through those real quick and uh, we'll, show, uh, we'll show exercising that uh, project template in Visual Studio as well. All right. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. So I've got the uh, that solution opened up that we've been kind of working on here. So now, um, <clears throat> whenever, so when, when using the template engine to create a template, um, I showed you the basics of how to get a template working for .NET New, but what we need to do is actually modify. We're gonna add a, a couple additional files here. So let me go into my samples here and the source under content, uh, in the template config, we can see there's a couple additional files. So the ide.host.json file, that's the one that we'll be adding here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go into that. We're going to copy the, the schema file, for the schema declaration for that. Let me go and add, I'll go and add, um, I'll go and add this to the, to the correct location here. So my console one. Get rid of that other one. All right, I'm going to create the the ide.host.json file here. Alrighty, and uh, drag this back into Visual Studio itself, so I can start uh, working on that. I'm going to go ahead and add that schema declaration there. So now, what the <clears throat> what the ide.host.json what this does is this is an indication that you want your template to appear in the various different IDEs that support it. So those, those IDEs that support this are Visual Studio 2019 and, um, and, and also Visual Studio for Mac. Uh, and also I think JetBrains Writer uh, has support for these custom templates as well. And uh, one thing that I'm not sure if we covered yet was, you know, how do I turn on the feature uh, for your .NET new templates to show up in Visual Studio. So you will go into Tools Options and then go down to Preview Features and then scroll down to where you see Show All .NET Core Templates. So definitely make sure that that's checked and, and in uh, the 16.9 that should be checked by default. All right, so I went ahead and I added this ide.host.json file. So without, if this file is not there, Visual Studio believes that this template hasn't been designed to be used within Visual Studio. So they just won't appear unless you create this file. All right, so we did that. Now let's go back, let's take a look at where we're at. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to go ahead and rebuild, I need to rebuild the NuGet package. So that way it will have the, the ide.host.json file there. So I've rebuilt it. Uh, now I'm just gonna go ahead and install this as well. So it's a .NET new install and then path to NuGet package file. Just gonna install that. You can see that it uh, has been successfully installed. Let me restart my Visual Studio here. So yeah, whenever you install a new uh, template, you'll have to restart Visual Studio to get it to appear. Mm -hmm. All right, so let me just do a, let me clear out my filter here. Uh, earlier, we talked about the classifications. So this is where the classifications will appear, and that's how you can filter them. So for example, I can filter to console, because that's what I had, but that's what I indicated in my uh, template.json. And now we can see I've got my project here. But what I'm noticing is, you know, it's just got the regular kind of default icon here. And uh, you know that's not really the right experience. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and close out of this. We'll add a different icon and then come back again. So let's go ahead and close out of that. I'm just going to go ahead and download the icon.png file that's here and in, uh, in my samples repository here. And uh, this this image, 
<clears throat> it has to be you know in or under uh, the template.json uh, sorry dot template dot config folder there so I put it directly in the dot template dot config folder there let me open up that file one more time mm -hmm. that's it now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, edit my IDE dot host dot JSON file to add the icon property here Icon, and then it was just, um, I think it was just icon.png, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. A very inspiring name. <laughs> yeah, very, very. Let me go ahead and uh, save that. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and just redo the whole thing here. So I'm going to reset my templates. And then I'm going to, uh, to repack it. And then I'm going to go ahead and install this. And uh, if, if I was doing this myself, I would just uh, wrap these three commands into one. So I would just have one command was reset template semicolon, and then this command semicolon, and then this command. And then when you hit enter, it will just run all three at the same time. All right, so now um, we've, we've reinstalled our template, and hopefully we've got that kind of custom icon appearing there. So let's go ahead and fire that up. So let's go ahead and create a new project. All right, so here we go. So now we can see I've got the, the custom icon that appears there. It looks like some kind of screwdrivers or something. Looks very Good legit. Job. Yeah, yeah. OK, so here's, here's another thing that I'm noticing here. So now <clears throat> for the project name, I just get project five. You know, Maybe I want to kind of customize that a little bit as well. So let me show you how you can do that. Mm -hmm. So that is actually with inside the template.json file. So let me open that guy back up one more time. So template.json. All right, there's another property that we can add here. It's default name. So I'll say the default name is just console. And then uh, Visual Studio will add the one, two, and three, basically. Let's go ahead and close out of that. Repack it. And then reinstall it. All right, let's try it. And uh, definitely make sure to close Visual Studio while you're kind of doing this. If I had kept Visual Studio open at that time, then then these changes would not appear. So we saw earlier it said, you know, like project one or something like that. But now I'm getting something yeah. that's a little bit better here, console one. Mm -hmm. We'll say demo, demo console. Let's go ahead and create this project. All right, let's go ahead and just uh, debug this. All right, hello from back. Demo Console. So that's exactly what we expected there. And you know, we, we had kind of a first class support uh, in Visual Studio with that kind of custom icon and customizing the project name and and uh, you know, templates that are created with .NET New, you know, they're they're a first class citizen, just like templates that have been uh, created by Microsoft themselves. So uh, in the upcoming videos, we'll show how to do parameters and and kind of make these templates even more better. That's exciting. And I mean, just that template JSON file in general just seems so important. It's like the blueprint for all of it. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. And uh, you know, once again, whenever you're editing one of those JSON files, you know, whether it's the template.json or the IDE.host.json, you always want to make sure to have the correct schema declaration uh, defined in there, so you'll get the right kind of errors and warnings, and and also the hit the hints with the IntelliSense. Makes sense. Great. Well, I can't wait to see what we're going to do next time with the templates. As you mentioned, we're going to be talking about parameters and other cool things. So mm -hmm. until then, happy coding.